is it art or advertisement? That is an issue that's causing a big stir in Wilson. Robert Richardson went there looking for answers. That took a long time, bro. I don't want it to go. <laughs> I don't want it to go. Artist Dave Matthews waits to find out the fate of his mural in Wilson. City rules might require its removal. Matthews painted it in the fall for restaurant owner Marcus Youssef. We just had a big white wall that people kept comparing to a hardware store. The design is a massive collection of drawings representing the area. You got the Rose Garden right down here, which is a, a big, big, big part of Wilson. And pop culture with characters from books, movies, TV shows, and video games. There's a lot of different stuff that somebody can look up here and go, oh man, and then they get like a, a short momentary spur of either excitement or happiness or at least just be distracted from all the other bad stuff that's going on. But at a distance, those doodles leave yellow space forming letters for Brewmasters, the bar and grill's name. The city classifies it as a sign that draws attention to or communicates information about a business that exists on the premises where the sign is located. It's not a sign, it's not an advertisement. I mean, for anybody not to call this a piece of art is, I feel like is mistaken. The city ordinance says works of art do not contain advertisements. The mural is also bigger than Wilson allows under its sign ordinance, and the city says Brewmasters is in violation and needs to remove the mural. Wilson's staff will soon hear an appeal from Yusuf's attorney, Ryan Breen, a friend whose name is literally on the wall. A second Brewmasters location is scheduled to open next month in Goldsboro, and Yusuf says he'd like to have some art like this there, but he'll be checking with the city on their rules and regulations first. Reporting in Wilson, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.